back everyone and if uh, you're new to the channel because I know I pick up a lot of viewers when I do a review uh, welcome and uh, if you like my content go ahead and subscribe I do a lot of moto camping and just uh, cool rides around the mountains here in Idaho and Montana I'm gonna be going to Colorado this year go over to Wyoming a lot so uh, if you would go ahead and uh, subscribe and watch some of those too I think you'd enjoy them we're actually just uh, about five miles from where I filmed my last video even though it was about a month and a half ago where I went to a navigation arrow from the 20s or 30s or somewhere back in that era anyway if you want to watch that video there'll be a link in the description below so go ahead and check that out too so anyway on to the review I've uh, had the Springfield for just over three years three years and two weeks I believe and it's it's been a phenomenal bike I love every minute of it I've got uh, 19,200 miles on it right now so took a quite a few trips uh, today we're just taking another trip up up north of where I live kind of check out this back road here I don't suspect to see anybody unless it's a farmer out here on the road today yeah, just out for a lovely cruise man this thing just handles like a dream I don't know I'm sure you can tell by the video that this road's not the smoothest piece in the world but the suspension on this bike is really good and the cool thing about it is you can adjust it up and down uh, using air pressure and it really seems to react well to it or whatever I two up or I'm loaded down for camping or or what I'm doing so uh, that's that's uh, one of the things I really like about the bike is the suspension the motor runs really smooth uh, just almost vibration free there's a couple little buzz points where you get certain RPM and it'll buzz you a little bit, but uh, I think that's pretty normal for anything. So, uh, you know, love the motor. The seat was uh, marginal. I do have a video of a new seat I put on here. I put a Corbin Tour seat on here. Absolutely love that. There's a review for that if you want to check that out. Uh, let's see what else should I talk about uh, the tires the original tires lasted 15,000 miles at least the rear did the front's still on here so we got 15,000 miles out of the out of the rear and it uh, you know did pretty well there's been more than once I've been stuck in a downpour there was one time we were coming back from a ride over to uh, Western Idaho and there was actually standing water on the road and the bike was pretty st still stable you know uh, it made me nervous just ride through standing water but the bike never never uh, got away from me it came with a Dunlop Elite threes originally I have a Dunlop Elite four on the back now because they don't make the Elite threes anymore and I believe all the new Indians come with uh, Metzlers if I remember correctly I could be wrong on that. Let's see what else. Uh, the layout of the bike's really good. It's comfortable. I, I like the mustache bars. You can see I put uh, some leather wraps on those for so I can put my feet on them without scratching the chrome all up. And plus, it gives me a little more traction when I'm uh, riding the highways, just to get different foot positions. I know a lot of some of the other bikes come with uh, full engine guards or crash bars whatever you want to call them that don't drop down as low as the Springfields and uh, I kind of like the way these drop down that way I don't have to buy highway pegs I don't have something else hanging out there to catch knock my shit on or whatever so and let's see the goal oh, the fuel mileage fuel mileage is really good I average right now I'm averaging 47.1 miles a gallon been doing quite a bit of freeway ride and it when you get up around 80 miles an hour it does eat up eat up the fuel a little bit right the back roads between 60 and 70 it'll average 49 so that's cool especially in this time of day when uh, 
premium fuel right now. I just put some on here in here. It cost me five dollars and twenty nine cents. So you know, near fifty miles a gallon is a is, is a real bonus when it comes to that. Of course, I don't ride very hard. I don't romp on it. A lot of guys I know have the same engine in this, but they have different frames. They have Roadmasters or or other stuff like that, and they're getting you know high thirties, but. They're a little more aggressive than me. I just don't ride that aggressive. I'm not in that big of a hurry to get any place, so. So, I mean, that, it's just, there's just one positive after the other, as far as I'm concerned. I know a lot of people don't like uh, halogen headlamps. I don't mind them. You know, with the traveling I do, you know, I do a lot of local rides, but I do travel three, four times a year. I'll go on some decent trips, a couple thousand miles. And it's nice to be able to, it's nice to know I'd be able to go to a Walmart and buy a headlight for this thing instead of having to wait for God knows how long to get an LED replacement. So that is one thing I kind of like about the old technology that Springfield has. And as you can see, it, speaking of old technology, there's no technology on this bike. It's got a fuel gauge, the tack, it's got all the, all the, all the bells and whistles you'd find, you know, check engine lights and tire pressure monitors and all that stuff, it, you know, pretty much come on everything that's new, but other than that, nothing. No radio, no navigation, no nothing. Just the way I like it. So I guess that's, you know, that's about all. I do have a couple other things, actually. Let me, let me, let me back up here just a minute. I did go on a ride over to Reno last fall, in September, I think it was week after Labor Day. As you know, you guys may know anyway, Northern Nevada could still be a real hot place to be if uh, you're out riding around that time of year. And it was well over 100 degrees. And and riding 80 miles an hour as we were on a lot of those roads back there going to Reno, the interstate. We had a quite, a, quite a long stretch of interstate. The, the, the Springfield on that trip, and the oil only had 3,000 miles on it when I got back, and it burned the oil pretty bad. It was smelling pretty stinky when it came out. It didn't look really good. So that is one drawback I know from that the Springfield has is it does not come stocked with a factory oil cooler like all the rest of the Indians do. So, uh, well, some of the vintage ones might not either, but uh, the uh, Roadmaster and those, those types of bikes do. But it does not come with an oil cooler. It did get the oil pretty hot running those highway speeds for long distances and over 100 degree temperatures. Like I said, it cooked that oil pretty good. So I would recommend if you're in one of the warmer areas where you're going to be riding in those high temperatures, those high speeds, that you would uh, put an oil cooler on it. I think they're a couple hundred bucks from, from uh, Indian. They're not very expensive. And uh, like I say, that's the first time I've dealt with it. I know foresee doing a lot of that kind of ride. I try to stay up here in the mountains where it's a little cooler and the speeds are a little lower. So I'd, uh, I don't think it would, I, it probably wouldn't hurt for me to put it on there, but I don't think I'm going to. That is, uh, that's the one drawback that I've actually came across with the Springfield. So that uh, I wish it would have come stock with. And other than the seat, the seat was, it was okay for right about an hour, but to do any long distance stuff, it was pretty brutal. But, you know, I think that goes with a lot of seats that come stock on motorcycles. That's why the aftermarket seat company, uh, yeah, that's how come they do so well. You know? Anyway, if you have any questions uh, about the Springfield, that, uh, that I didn't cover here. Any other comments or anything you might want to uh, know about, go ahead and uh, put the uh, put your question in the comments. I'll uh, check back with them as soon as I can. Work's been kind of hectic. 
vacation schedule is pretty hectic. We're going to be going to Durango here in a couple of weeks for the, for the Indian get-together there. I've got another ride scheduled up to Montana the week before that. Just got back from going camping with the, with the wife over to the Sawtooth Mountains. Beautiful area. So anyway, it's going to be busy, so I'll answer them as soon as I can. And uh, just uh, get out there and uh, enjoy, enjoy the outdoors. You only come around once, man. You got to get it done. So, like I said, any questions, put them in the comments below. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. You guys take care, ride safe, and uh, have fun. And we'll see you then. Bye.